Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here, and the object in front of you is a small pack that I made a video on probably almost two years ago now. And at that time, I was heavily into developing my EDC and more specifically my uh, my larger EDC items and packs that go into my kind of day to day EDC bag. And I still use an EDC bag, particularly when I'm at work. Um, I don't know if that defeats the purpose of EDC, but I mean, there's a lot of situations where it's a little incongruous to be carrying a fairly tactical looking backpack around with you. So as much as I can, I always have my bag with me. And whenever I have my bag with me, this is in it. This is a Maxpedition Fatty Pack. Uh, I went up from the EDC Pocket Organizer to the Fatty back then. And the Fatty kind of was my storage for all my kind of fixings. My basically... Um, you know my shit fixing pack and that's what it still is and it's only recently I've been thinking about this and what this kind of uh, the role this fulfills for me over the last couple of years this has come in handy countless times uh, I've had a lot of compliments on it from people who are in no way uh, preppers or even really considered the the prepping aspect of life or whether they might want to put together something like this I've had a lot of compliments on it it is by no means uh, perfect. Uh, I know that at the moment it's in an absolute mess and that's why I'm doing that video right now. It's an absolute mess at the moment and I'm actually kind of going through uh, a bit of a bit of a thought process about this as to how I want to proceed. Do I want to go through and top up all the things that I've been using over say the last year and have you know been a bit lax about replacing or do I want to rethink this and maybe move this whole pack and everything that's in it currently into my vehicle and just leave it there and uh, in my EDC bag uh, replace this with a new one of probably the Maxpedition fatty size or maybe even the next size up which would be the Maxpedition beefy I believe still although I know Maxpedition have come out with a whole new range of these kind of EDC bags or kit bags or gear bags whatever you want to call them gear pouches gear organizers EDC organizers whatever term you like best um, they've come out with a whole new range I think so I don't know what now is their kind of biggest one I know it was the fatty for a while and then it was the beefy I'd want something this size or slightly bigger I mean as you can see this is no slouch this is a fairly big pack let's just grab some common object here for scale uh, there's a there's a double A Duracell let's see close this up now this is quite distorted as you can see by the amount of gear in it but if we look at the hinge side here you can see there it is in comparison to that AA uh, Duracell. So it's a pretty chunky pack, but this fits nicely in the, the main pocket of my EDC uh, um, backpack or rucksack, as I would have called it uh, back in my homeland. And uh, so, yeah, looking to probably move this to my vehicle. And I'll go, th I'll go through the contents of this to make this a less boring video. I'll quickly go through the contents of this. Um, and what I'm really looking for is suggestions guys now a lot of you who are watching this probably have something similar or have thought about making something similar or using something similar in your day-to-day -day life um, what do you have that I don't uh, I know this is this is something I put together pretty quickly and it's a lot of stuff that I found very useful but there's a lot of gaps in it there's a lot of stuff that um, I would change or do differently and I also have a lot of ideas of my own not that I'm, that I'm not going to come out with right now in this video because I want to hear your suggestions but I have a, a bunch of ideas for new things that I, I would like to put in something like this um, obviously without making it weigh 40 pounds would be nice but uh, it is what it is you need to have gear to do things so let's quickly go through some of the stuff that's in here and then maybe we can get some discussion going on on uh, what it's lacking. Now there's a lot of things, bear in mind there's a lot of things that are missing here because they've been used and not replaced and as, that's kind of what I referenced earlier. Um, it's getting to that point where this really needs uh, a thorough bit of housekeeping so it would be an ideal time to to move this back to, to being a vehicle kit and start something new for my bag. I know that's a bit long-winded but that's that's where I'm at with this and um, in my EDC bag there are other items that are separate to this kit because it makes more sense to have them in other pockets or whatever so I have things like this I can actually show you this because it's plugged into my cell phone as I record this video right now this is an external power pack and I always have this in my bag uh, very useful even as a backup flashlight on it um, very useful this is a 10,000 MEH pack 
and this is constantly in there for cell phones, iPads, etc. So stuff like that might not be in this bag, but if I did get a new larger size, and the VanQuest bags attract me as well, I don't know what size would be equivalent to a fatty or a beefy in a VanQuest, maybe someone can tell me. Um, if I did get a new larger bag, then stuff like that external power pack would probably go in. I have other multi-tools in my bag, I have other batteries, I even have a fire starting kit. Uh, I have all sorts of stuff that are probably pretty superfluous, but I lug it around anyway. And I'd like to integrate that more into this one kind of EDC organizer. Um, that's where I'm at. So in here we have a bionic wrench. And I'll, as I go through this, let me lay it down actually to make it easier. As I go through this, I'll kind of tell you how much this has been used in the last kind of two years that this has been in here. This one has hardly been used at all. Uh, if I can get that out of there, destroying my backdrop. Um, this bionic range has hardly been used at all, and it's partly because it can only manage up to a fairly small uh, diameter of of a nut. So this is, hasn't had a lot of use, but you know it was a fairly cheap purchase and it's fairly fairly functional, so that would probably stay in there. Um, maybe I will go over some of my ideas uh, for my new updated version of this bag, so that if anyone has experience with these items, you can. Kind of uh, let me know what your thoughts. One thing I've been looking at recently was the Gator Grip Ratchets. I've seen those advertised everywhere and they do look a little bit too good to be true in the way that a Slap Chop or any of these other kind of, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you want to, want to call it, like shopping TV kind of products or gimmicky kind of products, uh, they always look a bit too good to be true. So if you're familiar with the Gator Grip Ratchet, it's a ratchet with all the little pins that basically adapts to whatever it is you want to tighten. Um, and those look quite attractive. I'd like to add that to my kit, but has anyone got any experience with those? And do they work? And do they last? That's basically my questions on that one. Obviously, anything that goes in the bag, part of the fun of making these, if you've ever made a kit like this, part of the fun is researching the stuff you want, um, putting it all together into a list, working out how much you want to spend on it, making some compromises where you need to, and uh, yeah, and putting together the stuff that, that you think you really need and that's part of the fun. So obviously researching, reading reviews, watching video reviews and conversing with you guys hopefully in the comments a little bit about these kits and what you suggest uh, would, be, would be part of the fun for me of redoing this uh, kind of process. A small task pry bar that's been used quite a bit, fairly useful. Uh, everyone needs a pry bar. A little aluminium picker upper aluminium magnetic picker upper I certainly wouldn't be picking up any aluminium uh little magnetic picker upper this has been quite useful um picked up a few nuts and bolts out of places that i could not reach that worked exactly as i had hoped in my kit uh, the multi-tool i carry in here is fairly low grade but it does the job it's a pair of shred plier based uh, tools shred tough there you can see you've got a review on this from years ago um and it's got a knife blade and stuff in there. But again, things like that, knife blade, can opener, uh, bottle opener, uh, little flathead, all that kind of stuff is a little bit um, is a little bit overkill because I pretty much always have a fixed blade on me. Uh, sorry, fixed blade, folding blade. Always pretty much have a Swiss Army knife on me, so I have the cap lifter and uh, can opener aspect. Um, so again, this is, is backup, really. So that probably might not really need to change because it doesn't really get much use. And I also have a Leatherman Wave in my bag, so I have multi, multi, multi tools. Um, so <laughs> a little bit excessive, maybe. Uh, the CRKT Eating Tool XL, this has been used many times at work uh, when I forget to take cutlery with me if I'm eating pasta salad or potato salad or something uh, for lunch that isn't just a sandwich that I can eat as I drive. There's a bottle opener and hex wrench and stuff. These things have never been used, of course. Um, there's a little uh, pry bar type thing on there. These have never been used, but this part um, for shoveling food into my face has been used a lot of times. So that's definitely one that would stay. I can't even remember if there's anything else in here, actually. I don't think there is. Over here, now this, this section here in this one has a loop in the spine. Um, and that works okay, but I'm not a big fan of this kind of spine area compartment because it's very hard to keep everything organized. What I normally keep in here is paracord and zip ties and some kind of bag ties. But as you can see, last time I used a paracord, I had it out, didn't really coil it properly for whatever reason. And since then, everything's gone to shit, really. I mean, look at it, it's a mess. Uh, that was all very neat at one time. And this is one of the more useful sections of the bag. I mean, I've used zip ties out of this countless times. Same with the paracord. 
uh, usually keep about 50 feet, which I th believe this is, about 50 feet of 550 cord in there. That would certainly not change. I might actually adapt that to keep it like a 30 foot and a 60 foot hank or something. Um, but very, very useful. In here, at one time, as I say, this was all organized. This is actually quite embarrassing now how, how bad this section looks. But in here, I have a bunch of different zip ties. Um, some of them taped together, some shorter ones, some longer ones. Let's just get rid of all that. Uh, very useful. I mean, what's, what, uh, what item in a hardware store, for example, is cheaper than a zip tie and more useful? Um, apart from maybe a screw. I don't know. Probably a zip tie is even more useful than that, to be honest. Uh, very useful fixings. And over time, I've kind of picked up other items that I see round about that were useful. This came on a piece of packaging. And stuff like this, I mean, these kind of... It's very nerdy and very geeky, but I think these sort of things are quite useful. Um, if you had to fashion kind of a handle onto something, uh, these are basically very easy to install. You know, just going to put these underneath whatever it is you're lifting. It's obviously not going to lift 200 pounds, is it? It's going to lift a small box or something, but if you're in a situation where you need to put a handle on something to lift it or to move it or whatever, uh, that doesn't take up very much space when flattened. And it's quite a useful little bit in your kit. I mean, is that any less useful than, say, 15 zip ties? Well, maybe slightly, but it is, you know, it's something that would have a purpose. And I'm a fan of picking up stuff like that. And if after a while I don't use it or find any need for it, then it can go. But in the meantime, I'm like, oh, that's quite attractive. Let's try and uh, see if that is useful in my kit. Over here we have another paracord item. This is basically just an adjustable lanyard. Uh, with a loop on it. So if you're ever in a situation where you're working or whatever and you're like, well, make my life a hell of a lot easier if I could put something around my neck for a couple of minutes just to have it where I need it, you know, it's a flashlight hanging or something like that, you have this adjustable lanyard, uh, pretty useful. And again, it's 550 cord, so pretty strong. We have in here uh, a little uh, antique um, tape measure. Not doesn't get used a whole lot. It's kind of a sentimental thing. This was from a great uncle of mine. And uh, yeah, that's more of a sentimental item, but does have its use if it was ever needed, of course. We have a few sets of uh, driver bits. I don't have a full size um, screwdriver in here. I did have a mini ratchet. I think it was a Task brand as well, same as that pry bar. Uh, but it broke and it was an adapter for these size bits. So that worked very well for a while, but broke and has never been replaced. So that's something I need to address. I do have a Leatherman Wave in my bag, as I mentioned, which has the ability to carry those and use those thinner Leatherman bits. But I'd like something that was full size without being too bulky, preferably ratcheting that would use all these kind of bits. And I also need to go through once again and actually assess what I need in here. I use torque screws on knives a lot and also at work, uh, but flatheads, Phillips, etc. Uh, Robertson, hard to beat for day-to-day -day practicality. So I'd have to go through these and assess what I really need, uh, make sure these are actually full with, you know, appropriate pieces. I do have a mini screwdriver in here. Uh, this just has a few mini bits in it. It, it, it does serve a purpose, uh, little kind of eyeglass screwdrivers, that kind of stuff. It's annoying as hell because the compartment for containing all the bits, of course, is inside here. And once you take them out, can you ever get them back in properly so that the lid goes on? Well, not very easily. Um, so <laughs> it's one it's one of the pieces of gear that I actually try and avoid using unless I absolutely have to. But it, again, if you're looking at this pack as being kind of an emergency thing, it, it is there if I need it. And case in point, I'm now struggling to get the lid back on. I'll put that to the side and come back to it after. These were another little uh, item that I found uh, actually on toy packaging, I thought were quite useful. These are little kind of cord holders or cord organizers. Um, and basically, if you don't have children, you may not know this, uh, or haven't don't have young children anyway. Nowadays, you tend to have cardboard packaging, you'll have the toy sitting on top of it, and you'll have those kind of fibrous strands or uh, even little like cable ties or whatever going down through the cardboard packaging, and it will just get laced in amongst this to hold the toy flush to the, flush to the piece of cardboard it's being mounted on. So I've got a couple of these in different lengths. I haven't actually used them yet, but I think they could be quite useful for organizing likes of, uh, even for charging cables and stuff like that. They'd be pretty pretty good, I think. Uh, I must actually get around to trying that for likes of phone chargers and things and see if they do have some practical use. And again, if not, they can just disappear. Now in here, these are two, uh, well, one more item before we come to that, actually. I have here the probably the most used item in my bag. I use duct tape all the time at work. 
Uh, I usually have one roll that I'm using at the moment. I have one roll spare in the truck that is going to be my backup. Of course, my memory being what it is, every now and again I will run out of that backup roll, at which point this comes in handy. I go straight to my bag and I have about three feet here of normal uh, grade duct tape just wrapped around basically a credit card uh, sized card. And that is an absolute lifesaver. Plenty on there to see me through until I can get to a hardware store and replenish my main roll. Um, so definitely the most used item in the whole kit. Right there, very simple. Uh, underneath here we have two Zippo boxes. And again, these need to be reworked and think again about what I put in here. I've used a load of stuff out of here and never replaced it. I have various screws, fixings, uh, these little hooks. I had those other ones, I don't know if you know what I mean, but the screws, sorry, the, the screw-in hooks that you'd put into wood or drywall, uh, but they're not a hook, they basically just come straight out and go up in a, in a 90. Um, so they're kind of like a coat hook really, I guess. Uh, those are very useful, particularly in combination with things like the paracord. Um, and stuff like this gets used a lot. I mean, particularly, you know, if you're staying away at a cabin or you're at somebody's for the weekend, something goes wrong or some, somebody needs something done and, uh, you know, you just have this kit with you that has all these bits and pieces. And part of the fun, of course, is figuring out exactly what uh, you need out of your kit to, to make it work and what solution you can come up with. So that's, it's, a, it's an enjoyable, uh, satisfactory, satisfying uh, thing when something like that happens. So it's good to have various fixings and stuff here. Uh, and again, I need to work on my drivers and the gator grip uh, socket that I mentioned earlier. Um, they show you in the videos driving something like this in with it because that just slots in amongst the pins in the socket. Does that actually work? Has anyone tried that? Um, because if it did, I'd be very interested in getting one of those for my kit. Of course, the gator grip would probably slot in somewhere like this and not take up too much space. In there, I also have these. These are another salvage item from everyday uh, from everyday goods. These are from the top of coffee bags. Um, if you get buy filter coffee or percolator coffee or coffee beans, you will often find they have the fold over foil top, and then they have these super strong um, kind of bag ties on top that hold their shape very nicely. They're wide, uh, probably about eight mil wide, I guess. Uh, they're wide and they're very strong. They have two cores of wire inside them and this thick plastic and very useful, again, as more of kind of a temporary uh, zip tie fix or just for tying up bags or whatever you may have. So I've got a bunch of those. I've got one, two, three, got about four or five of those in there. And again, those get used quite a lot. So that was the first kit and we have a very small rag packed in there as well. I think I did mention earlier, stuff like fire starting and things, although not really an EDC item that any of us particularly need to have, um, well, depending on your lifestyle, certainly not in mine. I do have that stuff in my bag anyway. And also the other thing you may think is lacking out here would be a flashlight, of course, but I do have several of those in my bag, or usually at least one in my bag and one in my pocket as well. So, um, you know, that's not really something I'd particularly want in the kit, but if I was redoing it into a larger size, and you can see the fatty is no slouch in terms of size. Uh, if I was going into a larger size bag, I would probably put a full like 18650 flashlight and charger in here anyway. Um, probably the Olight S2R or something like that. Anyway, the other Zippo box that I have has another little cloth in it, soft cloth. Uh, I actually have a lighter in here that I completely forgot I had. I have a little tube of super glue that has come in useful several times. I actually forgot I had that in there as well. I have some silica gel. Um, I have... Uh, a couple of these little clips, binder clips. I have a little toothpick and floss, a couple of elastic bands. And what would I add to this? I'd probably add in some paper clips. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think, maybe a hair band or something like that. Uh, there's plenty of other mini stuff. And that's something that I'm, I'm kind of uh, keen to research a little bit before I start this process, is to go back and start watching a bunch of other... Uh, people's videos on how they do micro kits and uh, Altoids tins and that sort of stuff and see if I can't put together a couple of uh, a couple of these boxes with a better um, setup of gear than I have at the moment. But again, these items are all pretty damn useful. So that's that box and that's really about it guys. I think there's maybe something in here. One other thing that I probably would put in here would be an emergency, uh, emergency note, like an emergency $20, something like that. Uh, but I do keep an emergency 20 in my wallet at all times, so uh, that would that would kind of be uh, a little bit overkill maybe, but it would be nice to have an emergency 20 in here uh, just for absolute 
uh, you know, run out of gas situations. Anyway, um, not cards. Can't say I've really ever used these, to be honest. Um, picked them up as an extra on Amazon with an order. And to be honest, most of these, like the square knot, bowline, etc., the ones that I actually use, uh, I know in my memory anyway. But I guess if you had a bump on the head and you woke up somewhere in a survival situation and you had this bag with you, you could go through here and you would find this. So um, that could be useful. It's not certainly not take up any space, so why not just keep that in there? So that's it, guys. That is my loadout of the fatty. Pretty much the same as I went through uh, with you probably about two years ago, as I say. Not a lot changed. I found it very useful. I haven't found a lot of time to really develop it and that's kind of why I'm excited to go back and rethink this and come up with something a little bit new or at least a development of this. And um, The main thing I wanted to achieve this video, sorry it's taken 20 minutes, is to discuss a little bit about what I use, what I need, what I like to have with me and to get some ideas from you guys, things that you think are like, I can't believe he's missing that, why would he not have that? And what you come up with may be something that I can say, well, I already have that in my bag elsewhere or whatever. It might not be. It might be something I've never even thought of. So please do feel free to put your suggestions in the comments. If someone has experienced those Gator Crib um, ratchets or sockets, rather, do let me know. That's one thing I'm interested in. Um, anyone with suggestions for good small drivers? I don't know if uh, um, anyone has any suggestions for that of a good tool. Uh, what I... The other thing I'd consider doing is considering I have that Leatherman in my next pack I would maybe leave the Schrade multi-tool in this one for my vehicle bag. I put my Leatherman Wave into my full size bag for my EDC backpack, my, my updated version of this. And I would do that uh, kind of life hack that people do where they adapt a bit holder to fit into the Leatherman. Uh, so anyone who's done that and uses it with these full size bits, does it have the kind of the strength to do that? How does that work out for you? And is that worth spending the time doing with a grinder? Or should I just go ahead and uh, look for a, an independent uh, standalone driver for these? So those are kind of the only questions I had at the moment. Um, as I say, do feel free to chip in with your ideas. And I can look forward to doing some update videos on this and let you know how I'm getting on. First thing, of course, will be a selection of uh, a bag and then we'll go from there with the loadout and uh, it'll be a process. So thanks for sticking around if you are still here and uh, yeah, appreciate any input you can give. Hope you're having a great day. I'll be back with more videos soon. Cheers.